it's horrible to see people here in London in the cold streets. I mean, it rains sideways, cold sort of icicles into your ears and eyes. So imagine what it's like to be surviving that uh, here on the streets. And if you get to know some of these people, the stereotypes of how you end up there usually tend to melt away quite quickly. So have a heart like this AI art piece has and uh, share this out. Hey everybody, I wanted to make this quick video about this art piece, Hello, that is behind me. We're about to auction it off at the CC Forum, at this swanky gala for Marco Robinson's Freedomix charity, with the love and support of changeangel.io and some other incredible folks who've chosen to already start retweeting this project so that we can raise some awareness and funds for the ever-increasing amount of people who are without a home here in London. I really love and respect what Marco is doing with this charity and it's the world's first blockchain-based charity for the homeless. I want to give you the property. Oh my god. Thank you. There will be many very interesting people present here at this swanky gala and as you can see from the speakers of the CC forum the list is jam-packed with people who are known all over the world. So how I make these images is that I first paint and photograph and with a computer I put the image together as a high resolution digital original that gets printed onto a canvas and then repaint it on top of, again, to make them unique within the series of three only. And this is the very first one, and uh, the one that we're going to be auctioning off. This art piece is not really intended to make you feel comfortable. It's not something that sits pretty with your sofa. It's a counter to what just happened with the French group uh, Obvious, who are an AI-based art collective and what they did and their art piece sold for nearly a half a million dollars at the Christie's of New York uh, because it was generated by an algorithm. This is the human counterpart. This is the human sort of uh, interaction back towards pushing what the machines are doing. As to the repaint section of it, much of the paint is focused on this naive, almost, heart of it all. Definitely the, the first AI coming online will have a very naive heart, putting some intention towards how we're going to birth AI into the world in a more, uh, let's say, self-contained uh, way when it starts to operate. And maybe that will manifest uh, as a kind of butterfly effect into a variety of good things. And maybe it won't farm and kill us all. Just saying. The machines are coming and taking us over, in, even in the creativity side of things. And it's not hard to imagine that the AlphaGo sort of venture will soon reach the art world in ways that humans are even going to have difficulty trying to keep up with many of the aspects of the creativity realm. And we certainly aren't pushing for that. Uh, that in our global education system and so forth. As cryptocurrency doesn't require for you to be a human being in order for you to use it, it's the obvious choice of AI in the future of when it starts to utilize currency. And not only will it generate and start making art, but it will eventually start to collect art. And if you think of art as an investment, that is uh, quite a game changer because of what's already going on with the trading platforms and the AI and and those kinds of things, so what, what kind of connotations this will have for the whole of the art world. And of course our attitude towards AI is that it's, it, it's an invisibility, they're not even sort of uh, self-sustaining, they're not self-controlling, uh, I think this in some ways reflects the state of the homeless as well, we don't tend to see them as human beings 
and uh, we just skip over and of course you know there, there are limitations as to how much a person can do to someone who you just randomly pop into in the street so this is my attempt to contribute something towards this con you know, conversation where we're headed as a human race what kind of um, problems do we have that we probably could find some creative solutions to this is more of a gesture on my part and of course Marco is doing far more sustainable things with his Freedom X charity here with towards people finding homes and, and that's an amazing thing. So this is definitely a group effort. Many thanks Max from CC Forum and all the amazing people who are going to be at the gala and uh, doing the bidding. Many thanks for Marco and the Freedom X charity and Change Angel and anyone who's going to be retweeting this and giving us the attention that I think the homeless people and the potential of blockchain really deserves. So um, at this swanky gala on the 15th, we will auction this off and uh, let's see how generous people will be when they collect something that is not a luxury item. This is an investment in and of itself. Um, so uh, when you buy your Lambos and things, they're 30% once you drive them out the store, this hopefully will be 10 times the amount that it goes for in the near future. Many in the crypto realm know how fast things can grow and how much value can increase. And luckily, we are here not only to make a quick buck, but we are here to change the world. So let's show it once more how this is what we're about.